October 28th. We're holding a short and for very good reason. You've got the very nice naked bar here at 912 on the premium down at 670. That's where the market's going. So we've shorted it up there at the, uh, the top. Um, yeah, there's a little difficulty. Uh, we, we, as you can see here, we got an overbought situation here, but then uh, it moved up just a little bit higher. We got another overbought situation right there. So uh, we're short. And we're holding. We're not even going to even think about doing anything else until we get down to uh, 2375. And that's where this market's headed. So you can see 2375 is the low. The shorting it, you know, any anywhere up here at 3375, 34, if you could get it. Um, you know, it's uh, that's that's a nice uh, nice short. <laughs> so we'll show you after we get there because we will. And why? Because the premium doesn't lie. That's where this market's going. We'll be back. Oh, and incidentally, if someone is asking, why does he have a CCI? Oh, one of our traders uh, uh, in uh, Dubai had uh, suggested that we put this on one of our screens to compare that against uh, his own methodology. And, uh, you know, it has some merit, but, uh, you know, it doesn't identify the pivot. I mean, for example, you know, he thought, well, this would be a good time to short it. No, that's not a good time to short it. If anything, it's over here or it's over here. All right, and even then, that didn't work. And then if you shorted it right there, well, you know, you might have... Uh, trailed to stop and got stopped out and not know that you really ought to sh short it here. But at that point in time, you know, the CCI index was not uh, above the level that he would normally take a short at. So, you know, that doesn't work so well. So actually get rid of that because we don't like that. We don't use that. Okay, we'll be back. Now this is just uh, an interim update. It's been taking quite a while for us to, to move down, but we're at kind of a critical point as well uh, to get through uh, 3150 here. Now, the reason for that, oops, it's not what we wanted to show you. Let's get that back. There we have it. The uh, 3150. This is an area of very low volume. And you can see that, that we should be able to break through there because as you go down in the YM, you're picking up. You're picking up steam. You've got more historical buyers. Uh, or transactions at that uh, level. So we should be able to break through there. Unless for some reason we break through here before we go down there. And that can happen too. Uh, the market can move up and then, then we come down here before. Uh, there, there you have it. There you have it. Okay. All right. Uh, did, it, this didn't occur the way we expected, or, or the way it could have occurred. Um, things happened just the way we had hoped they would. So we broke through their higher volume here on the YM, um, moves us down in the price, and we break through that 3150 area down to 3125. Uh, but you can see the big divergence uh, here developing on the premium. So um, in any case, uh, uh, we're still moving down, and we'll come back here in a few minutes. 
Now you saw that this bar up there was uh, somewhat predictive. That was uh, tested. Look at how the uh, ES started to, uh, pardon me, the premium started to move up here. And then uh, this thing has shot up once again. And we're continuing to move up. So we've gotten stopped out here um, only to the extent that uh, uh, we had uh, shorted it up here at uh, 34.75 and now we're out. Um, we're going to uh, look to get in uh, again uh, when this thing goes back up to 35.25 we'll re-examine uh, how the market uh, is going to behave uh, at that point but uh, uh, that has not changed our outlook it just changes changes the time frame <laughs> where this is going to take place so hopefully we'll have the other opportunity to get back in a little bit later on we're flat at the moment now just uh, seconds uh, ago um, you might have been inclined to to take a trade here. We went ahead, <laughs> I went ahead and did that um, because as as the as we saw this this occur here uh, on this particular bar, you know that's pretty predictive that this market's going to come down a little bit. But I didn't like that yet there was an opportunity to maybe just take a, uh, a little bit of a scalp here which uh, I went ahead and did. I may regret it because I'm still in it. Nonetheless uh, that that predictive bar is pretty uh, pretty hard to ignore so we really ought to be going long in here uh, in anticipation that this market's going to come right back up so I think we'll get out of that uh, that short, go long, and, and hopefully uh, we won't get stopped out on a long trade uh, because we expect that to go back up. But overall, short the market, and that may not materialize until this evening or this afternoon. That is, so have to be careful. Well, there you have it. We are somewhat glad that uh, we uh, shorted this uh, situation. And uh, now you can see why. Premium doesn't lie. The low right here. All right there. That was all forecast. Now this this move up was somewhat predictive because we uh, could see that this market, you know, was going to test that level, and it did. And then we got a uh, really a, a lower high on the premium right in here. Uh, nice uh, opportunity to short it. and down we came and we're still going lower as you can see from that bar big big low uh, on the premium right in there so all that had been uh, forecasted from earlier this morning uh, you can see how the market behaved uh, from our uh, threshold uh, indicator and uh, things have turned out really just exactly the way we expected uh, overall that the market would short. A little problem right in here, however, as we saw this step up and it got stopped out, but managed to get back in uh, with after a, a brief, brief uh, scalp here, market moved back up, then a short and very, very quick move down. So nicely done. That's how it works. I'm Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk.